my life is art. Art, not only visual art, as well music and, and perfumes and flowers and sunshine and gaiety and aliveness and melody of life. That's, that's what I want. Harmony, melody, colors and brightness. To shine up the day, to be happy, to make the be best out of your day. After all, I have had a lot of troubles already in my life and that's the philosophy exactly now. I come to the point that, that art has brought me so many good things from my own interior, own, own personal well-being. It distracts you totally from other problems. It distracts you from financial problems, health problems, any, any other dissatisfactions with life because you concentrate on something on a white canvas and with a brush in your hand and with a paint then you say I have to get something going and it's this concentration to create something which takes you away from other problems and that is what art has given to me much very much I don't have one only most gratifying and satisfying encounter or experience with art yet. I have many nice experiences and positive answers and uh, encouragements and letters of people who say, oh, please participate in international um, competitions. I think there's not one only most, most uh, impressive um, um, action. It's a whole little series of people saying, I like it, do you have posters, do you have prints, where we can buy it, can we see your art, can you give me some postcards, where do you publish, things like this. It's a whole variety of little questions here and there, that's it. Mostly uh, that these satisfying things come from people, yes. And of course of pieces of art which I've done and I think I like them and I'm satisfied with them. People and work, both. I select a canvas. I like to select square canvases. Uh, it's a beautiful shape. It's a very simple shape, squares. And let's say I decide today I paint a face. Then I put the canvas on the easel and I roughly um, pencil some lines. Yeah. Mostly, when, it, uh, when I paint a face, I have a picture, a photograph, just pasted on the canvas, a little photograph of my mother, of my sister, of my daughter, of my grandchild, of anybody, mostly females. And uh, then I design the face, eyes, nose, mouth, shape of the head, very important, the neck, one line for the arms, and yes, and then I force myself to take the photograph away. And then I am left alone with my memory of that person. When I make a face of a person, doesn't mean that the person has to look exactly like the person on the picture, you know. I only want to have the expression of the person. And the expression is part on the photograph and part in my mind. And that's why I force myself to put the photograph away and uh, work with my memory. Then I select five, six basic colors. And once the color selection, the, the oil paint selection has been taken place, I put them on a piece of paper and I squeeze a fair amount of the six paints of the oil paints out of this my paper palette and I begin. With the face I begin certainly with the eyes. They are the center, they are the window, they are the 
hard of a face and I work on the eyes. Then I go down, nose is the second thing I add, you know, and then comes, uh, of course, the third thing is the mouth, and, and then it is, it's going to be changed and altered, and, and it's so thrilling to see how each brush stroke can change the vision of a whole face, and that is the most biggest thrill. To, to see the changes. Sometimes I put the brush stroke there and I said, oh, I wish I wouldn't have done it. And sometimes I add a little tingle and wider here in the right hand corner. And then I said, well, that's good. Let's not spoil it. And though it's fascinating how it then begins to be shaped. And the face first then set and then I work on, you know, hair and color and blouses and sleeves and all the other things. Then when roughly everything is out there, I let it stand for a day or so and come back the next day, look at it carefully, critically, steps away, steps uh, going towards, sit down, go away, look and say, what does disturb me? The line here, the line there, the sparkle here, the green spot there. And then I redo everything which disturbs me, lines and spots and uh, pieces of paint left over and sometimes I change the colors and sometimes I change still the, the stroke of the brush. And so slowly, 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 after a couple of days, it uh, gets a shape, yes. And then at the very, very end, let's say the face and the person is set and painted roughly, then I work on the background. And the background as well is important, but is not that important. And yeah, that's basically what I do. About art, I like most that it is so free. It is so, um, doesn't have any limitation. Anything is possible. I think I've said it before, is this enormous freedom of movement, of art, and, uh, and that's what I like most. And about the art world, I like most that it attracts very spirited, young, fresh, innovative, uh, beautiful people who dare to do things which have not done before, that is not laid down to any traditional conventions, that it's innovative, yeah, that's what I like about the art world. One of the things art is, is it's unpredictable, it's alive and it's always changing. It's young, it's fresh, it's bold, it's, it's anything and everything. I, I can impossibly predict it.
Howard's art scene.